Hello future nurses! Welcome back to this YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn about intradermal skin test. Have fun learning! Skin testing compromises a range of methods for medical diagnosis of allergies that attempts to provoke a small controlled allergic response. Skin tests may be done to diagnose rashes, moles, skin allergies, food allergies, bacterial or fungal skin infections, and other diseases. Skin tests are also done to tell the difference between cancer cells and non-cancer growths. Equipment used for ID injections Syringe Small gauze pad or dry cotton Alcohol swab Vial or ampule of medication So here are the steps First, you have to check the accuracy and completeness of the mark Check the patient's name, medication name, dosage, route of administration, and time of administration for this reason, the prescriber's order is the most reliable source and legal record of the patient's medication. Ensure that the patient receives the correct medication. Second, identify patient using two identifiers. You have to compare identifiers with the information in the patient's MAR or medical record. Third, at patient's bedside, again, compare the MAR with the names of the medication labels and patient's name you have to ask if he or she has allergies on a certain medication this is the third check of accuracy that ensures the patient receive correct medication number four discuss the purpose of each medication action and possible adverse effects allow patients to ask questions tell the patient that injection will cause a slight burning or sting the rationale for this is that the patient has a right to be informed and patient's understanding of each medication improves adherence to the drug therapy. It also helps minimize the patient's anxiety. Fifth, perform hand hygiene and apply clean gloves. This is to reduce the transfer of infection. Sixth, select appropriate site. Note lesions or discolorations of skins. If possible, select site there to four finger widths below antecubital space and one hand above the wrist. If you cannot use forearm, inspect the upper back. Intradermal injection sites should be free of discoloration or hair, so you can see the results of the skin test and interpret them correctly. Seventh, help patient to, com to the comfortable position. Have the patient extend elbow and support it and forearm on flat surface. This stabilizes injection site for easiest accessibility. Number eight, clean site with an antiseptic swab. Apply swab at center of site and rotate outward in a circular direction for about five centimeters. Rationale, mechanical action of swab removes secretions containing microorganisms and it decreases pain at injection site. Number 9. Hold swab or gauze between 3rd and 4th fingers of non-dominant hand. Rationale, gauze or swab remains readily accessible when withdrawing needle. Number 10. Remove needle cup from needle by pulling it straight off. Rationale, preventing needle from touching sides of cup prevents contamination. 11. Hold syringe between thumb and forefinger of dominant hand with bevel of needle pointing up. Rationale, smooth injection requires proper manipulation of syringe parts. With bevel up, you are less likely to deposit medication into tissue below dermis. Step 12. With non-dominant hand, stretch skin over sight with forefinger or thumb. For the rationale, needle purses tight skin more easily. Step 13. With needle almost against patient's skin, insert it slowly at 5 to 15 degree angle until resistance is filled. Then advance needle through epidermis to approximately 3 mm below skin surface. 
you will see bulge of needle tip through skin. For the rationale, ensures that needle tip is in dermis. Inaccurate results will be obtained if needle is not injected at correct angle and depth. Step 14. Inject medication slowly. 0.01 ml to 0.1 ml. Watching for a bleb or blister to develop appearance of bleb or wheel indicates that the needle is in intradermal tissue. For the rationale, slow injection minimizes discomfort at sight. Dermal layer is tight and does not expand easily when you inject solution. After withdrawing needle, apply alcohol swab or gauze gently over site. Then inspect the blood, use a black pen and draw a circle around perimeter of injection site, then write the date and time of administration of medication. Its rationale is to determine if reaction to antigen occurs, indication positive for TB or tested allergens. The redness wheel formation within 10 to 15 minutes is usually a sign of a positive test reaction. The patient should watch for at least 30 minutes for signs of allergy reactions. The following must be available for emergency treatment of penicillin anaphylaxis or generalized reactions such as epinephrine, hydrochloride for immediate intramuscular, IV antihistamine, 50% dextrose in water, 1 liter, and venocil.